222. In college football, that number is iconic, infamous, and unquestionably Georgia Tech. A hundred years ago this week, on the same Grant Field where the Yellow Jackets play today, Georgia Tech beat tiny Cumberland College 222 to nothing. The game set NCAA records for points and margin of victory that will never be touched. Cumberland had disbanded its football team the year before, but Georgia Tech head coach John Heisman insisted they honor their scheduling agreement. And so the engineers suited up against a ragtag group of Cumberland fraternity brothers with predictable and historic results. A hundred years later, the game is something of a curiosity for the current members of the Yellow Jackets. Uh, it, it, it's very uh, amazing, a feeling. Um, that 222 to zero, I mean, you no, no one will ever do it again. Yeah, I mean, it's a mark like that, everyone hears about it. You know, in any level of football, there's always, you know, how could that possibly occur? And, you know, just, I guess, the centennial anniversary, like you were saying, so it's just incredible that no feat like that probably ever will be achieved again. The ball from the Cumberland game was purchased two years ago by Tech alumnus Ryan Schneider and donated to the Athletic Association. It now sits on display inside the Edge Athletic Center. The circumstances of the game were extenuating, the sportsmanship more than a little suspect. The 222 to nothing remains a part of college football lore, and Georgia Tech football will always have a place in it.